Hi, my name is Cameron Simpson from CS Trades 101. Um, I'm not a financial advisor or a market stockbroker. I'm just a normal guy telling it how it is. So this is episode 20, and we're going to discuss tickers, symbols, BB, AMC, GME, and lots more. So I just want to go over and tell everybody that I'm thankful for all the subs and all the support. You guys are awesome, awesome people. Um, yeah, I, I can't say how much um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I just wanted to go over um, some new news. There's been lots going on today. Um, if you want to watch some of my other videos, you will, um, you'll see what's happening um, in the world. So let's jump on in here and check this out. So what we got today, this is uh, we're going to start with uh, AMC Entertainment Holdings and we're at $9.39 as we speak. Um, we're negative in the red, 4.18. Um, <clears throat> everybody's all upset um, because of all the um, news um, yesterday. As you can see, you can just, it's too much to explain all at once. Just watch my videos. Uh, just go back to the last two videos and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so let's jump on in here. Um, everybody's upset about the red days. I really, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's an opportunity to make money. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's blow this up a little bit here. Okay, so um, we are at $9.64 up here. I've seen a little bit of a sell-off here. Um, a little bit of consolidation, a little bit more sell-off. There's something weird going on behind the, the scenes over here. Um, I think it's the alpha rhythm or something's messed up. I think they're, I, I seriously think they got a bug in the system and they know how to manipulate it because it's, or there's more synthetic shares out there on these, on GME and AMC is um, because uh, there's more fraudulent stuff. That's what I think it is. There's uh, trading of synthetic shares, which is messing this all up. Because if you look at the numbers, um, and a lot of other uh, podcasters have noticed this too, the numbers don't add up, okay? Um, today, we haven't moved that many shares. Um, there's more sell-offs than um, buy. Um, I think it's uh, just the bad news. Um, hopefully, um, there's not too much fear mongering around this and they get it straightened out because I own stake in this. So I definitely uh, would like to see a recovery here and it start going up into the positive. Um, I think it will in the next couple days, um, but I always take an opportunity like this in the red is to buy more, okay? So this isn't a bad price because even though this um, stock, it, it, just say that the squeeze never happens. It's going to happen in my opinion and thousands and millions of other people. So just because of the numbers and stuff, but it could take a while. It could take a month. I, I know you guys don't want to hear that, but it could, it could, okay? Um, so um, what I'm saying is buy now. This is not a bad price. The stock usually sits around $20, $30 mark, like $20, $25, right? when COVID's over. So it's a win-win in my eyes, right? I, I bought it a little bit higher. I bought it 14 and then it went down. It, it went down lots. I think it caught a lot of people off guard. Um, I do own two different um, lots of shares. One is at $8 and 20 cents. So I'm a little, I'm a dollar ahead, no big deal, but um, it all helps, right? Every, every cent helps, but uh, it, uh, a down 4%. This, this stock usually does this back and forth, right? So I'm not worried like buy. I would buy today. If it was me, like I can't tell you what to do, um, but you can figure it out. So um, yeah, let's go back here. Enough babbling here. Yeah, see, I like I like how this stock is consolidating. So it's 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 going to go back up. It's, it's a for sure, for sure. Um, pretty good day for a discount price though. Okay, let's jump into GME ticker symbol. Okay, it's sitting at a dollar fifty nine even. We're at a negative six point six one today, as we speak. So I just want to check this out here. Here we got a W here. We got a bit of a sell off. Let's check these numbers out. Yeah, see, it's not. Yeah, the art the market isn't that uh, busy today in these in these two uh, stocks. Yeah, see, so these aren't these bad of sell-offs, really. It's just that we don't have that much volume. So it's it's knocking the market down. Not people are buying right now, right? 
as you can see the numbers down in here, right? It's this is usually in the thou like a hundred, two hundred, five hundred, thousand, 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 hundred, 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 hundred. Just given, or you can't even as you if you know you watched it before, right? I just want to have a look here at some things here. Yeah, so I know um, I would definitely um, this is a buy too right now. Um, it's mine. It's like seven percent off right now today compared to yesterday. So we're still testing that line of resistance here, the bottom one here. We still haven't hit par yet, but compared to the other numbers, but um, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's jump off this. Check out Ewap. Way below it, eh? A buck sixty-five point zero four. Yeah, I would definitely if I um if I was in on this, I would definitely be purchasing some more, right? Because it's it's gonna it'll work out for you. Especially if there's a squeeze, you're pretty much getting it. What was the top four hundred and something? So you're pretty you're pretty much getting it like half price if you want to look at it like that. Because I, I in my opinion, um this is just my opinion only. It's gonna, it's gonna go. It's gonna squeeze again for sure. The numbers are just not adding up. See, the thing is with GME, they're introducing shares right now into it. That's what they're doing, and um, they're doing it in different lots, right? So it's gonna affect the price. They're not gonna, they're gonna do it when it's high and just try to stabilize it because they want to make money, right? So um, A AMC, I don't know. I have those, uh, I have those uh, vouchers for the, um, <coughs> for the. <clears throat> vote there with uh, AMC. I got two different lots, like I told you before. Um, I definitely voted no, be, um, but I just want you to one thing: they're not going to dump all those uh, those shares at once, right? They're going to do it in chunks, right? Because or else they'll make it worth nothing, and they don't want to do that, right? Because then they'll lose money, right? And it'll screw over a whole bunch of clients of theirs, right? Shareholders like uh, myself and you, right? So, um, yeah. Uh, I, I there's there's not that much to say about this right like uh, definitely it's gonna go up um, and I would I'd buy for sure okay let's jump into some uh, Canadian stocks here we're gonna go into Blackberry okay I got this on the 30 minute chart because um, as we'll see there's not that much uh, not that much share changing today nobody's buying and uh, most people are selling okay so Blackberry, we've gone over, if you want to look at my other videos, um, they've had some pretty good news lately, uh, going uh, uh, partners with Volvo Group, okay? And for 12-year contract, tract, it's 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 pretty good. It's a pretty good idea. Um, so, and it's all over their um, operating system uh, platform um, that they can eventually run these trucks, these big uh, trucks and mines and stuff like that, uh, remote access. There will not be a human behind the wheel, okay? They've already got the software and they, it, they can make it happen it's just there's laws and stuff so um, they will get through all that tape and I think this stock is undervalued big time this could potentially be hundreds of dollars in the next couple of years um, they do own a lot of um, a lot of other things um, like uh, patents and stuff that they hold the key to and they were way ahead of their technology and let's not talk about cell phones with them <laughs> Okay, because they don't do it anymore and they never will. Okay, so yeah, as I do own stake in this, um, I, I bought in a little bit higher when the tech squeeze was happening. I'm at about $14, so I'm still very comfortable in my position there. Um, this is a buy straight across the board, um, in my opinion. Okay, let's jump into Air Canada. This is my, uh, this is my money maker right now. A lot of people are afraid of this stock. Um, because of the uh, COVID-19 pa pandemic happening, right? Perfect buying opportunity. Everybody said, Cameron, you're crazy, you're crazy, you're crazy, you're crazy. Okay, I might be, but that's how you make money and you don't get fear-mongered, okay? Because you lose money. Like, I don't understand these people. Well, everybody has their own situations, right? Um, to selling, right? If something happens, like maybe in your life or you have to, but if you don't, need to need that money because you shouldn't be investing money that you need anyways right it should be extra money because um, you don't want to put yourself out because it is gambling and the market is made to always win okay we all know that okay but there's tricks to fool the market 
or manipulate the market in a legal manner, right? So you just have to catch it on days like this, like a red day, red day, perfect day. Um, this stock is like 40% off right now. It's ticker symbol AC, Air Canada. And um, yeah, I bought this at $23 and um, a lot of people have bought in a high, like they owned it like $40, $50 when it was up there, even higher. And um, it dropped, they've lost like 40 grand or something like that, right? So they sell. <laughs> I, I just, that just puts this cringe on my back. They sold, um, I would have waited. Why would you sell that? Unless you need the money. But um, I would have waited because it's on its way up. It's gone up like 40% in the last, or 30% in the last, no, 40% actually, correction, in the last couple months, right? Because it was down low. Let's just check it out here. There's 25. Oh, let's bump this to days. There we go. See, she sits up at 50, 50 bucks. That's where it was before. Okay. There we down, 30s. And it goes down low. It goes down really low. Yeah, it goes down to... $14. <laughs> Look at that. That's that's where the gold was. That's the mine, right? And you're going for that gold down here, right? So yeah, that's uh that's AC for you. Air Canada. Okay, let's check this out. Um let's she's sitting she's sitting par right now. We do have a line of resistance at $29.50. It'll make it there within I say by summer. It's on its way up. It only moves increments of five to ten percent and a couple cents sometimes, but it's constantly usually on the climb. You get your red days. Um, every stock has its red days. There's no such thing I've ever seen that it doesn't have a red day. And if there isn't, then send me a link or email me and I want to see that because I like to learn too. Okay, so it's VWAP. VWAP time. It's way up there, they. Eh? Yeah, because it was at $50 before. That's the volume, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Okay, smack here, yeah, there you go. What was it sitting at? 27.29, uh, uh, okay. Okay, that's all the stocks I'm gonna cover today. Um, and uh, if you wanted to um, me to cover more, some more Canadian stocks, I'm gonna be expanding into more, um, then just uh, drop me a comment and uh, I will cover like I always do. Okay, you guys keep it real out there. Um, like we always try to do around here. Um, if you want to use my broker, wealthsimple.com. Um, it's a trading platform and you're welcome to use it. There's a referral code at the end of the video or down below. If you put in $100 or more, you can get yourself $10 Canadian for free and you can use it to buy stocks or just save it. And this is a zero commission app. So you can download it on your Apple Android device. You can get it on your computer. Awesome stuff. Subscribe down below. Hit the like button if you want to see more videos and stuff because they're on their way out there. You guys have a great day.